Today's question. Consider the following in respect of prime number P and composite number C. So given us two types of numbers. One number is said as P. Another number is said to be C. So the P is said to be prime number and the C is said to be composite number. So in the previous video lecture, we have given the introduction to prime and composite numbers. So what do you mean by prime number? It is having just two factors. And what does it mean by composite numbers? They are having more than two factors. So let me list out some of the prime numbers in the section P. Few prime numbers for your reference. 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. 5 is a prime number. 7 is a prime number and so on. The list is going. What do you mean by composite numbers? More than two factors. Let me take 4, 6, 8, 9. These are all the section of composite numbers. Given question, based on three statements, you want to check which is correct. Okay. Given above, which of the statement is correct? Statement number 1, P plus C divided by P minus C can be even. So, this is the statement number 1. First, let me decode the meaning for can be. Can be means a possibility. So, whenever a statement with the keyword can be, you need to find if there is any one possibility exists with different cases, any one of the different case, whether you will be able to find that possibility or not. If it is yes, you can put the statement is correct. If you are not able to get any one possibility with all different cases, you want to choose that statement is going to be wrong, right? Let's check. So using hit and trial method, I am going to test the statement number one. So statement one, P, you can take any number and for C, you can take 4. Okay. So, this must be even for any one of the possibility. Okay. Can be even. It is given so. Fine. Now, I am going to put the value for P and C. P is 2. C is 4. 2 minus 4. What is the result you get? Before that, one small clarification about even number. What are the even numbers? Numbers, any number ending with 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. Those all numbers are called even numbers. Okay. What do you mean by odd numbers? Odd numbers means numbers ending with 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So, the numbers ends with 2, 4, 6, 8, 0 all are called as even numbers irrespective of the sign. So, no doubt, if suppose a negative sign is given, minus 2, whether this number is even or not, yes, even. Minus 3, what about this number? The negative sign is there, no problem. Even though there is negative or positive sign, whatever it is, this number is considered to be odd. Okay. So, so let's start the calculation. 2 plus 4 on the top, 6, 2 minus 4, minus 2. What is 6 by minus 2? I get minus 3. This case I got odd number. But I need to check any one possibility exists with even number. So this possibility 1, you can ignore. Go with the second possibility. In this possibility 2, I put P for possibility. Possibility 2 I can take one prime number here, another composite number here. So, P is 2, C is 6, I am going to use for the second trial. So, P plus C, 2 plus 6. P minus C, 2 minus 6. 2 plus 6, C, 2 minus 6, minus 4. So, what is the result I will get? Minus 2 at this spot. Whether any one of the cases lying with the result even number, yes. In the second trial, I got even number as the result. So, the statement 1 is obviously correct. Okay. So, while looking at the option 1 and 2 only 
two and three only given so second option will not come because we got one is the answer so one is presented in all the remaining three options so let's go further the next thing we can check with statement number 2 already we have seen the statement one is perfectly match statement number 2 can be can be means it is one of a possibility in the third statement also can be can be means one of the possibility we want to check so statement number 2 and 3 can be solved with the concept the facts about even and odd numbers already in the number system class we have discussed about the facts in detail now so second statement dealing with addition okay here one number 2p here one number here this is a number this is another number in between the operator is addition so let's see some of the important facts about even and odd numbers with addition adding one odd number with another odd number the result you will get is even number say for example 3 is an odd number another 3 is also i have taken 3 plus 3 i get 6 the result laying with even number concept number 2 even number plus even number the result is going to be even for example i can take first even number is 2 another even number is 4 2 plus 4 i got 6 this is also even number concept number 3 concept number 3 i can take even number plus odd number how much i get let me take even number is 2 odd number is 3 2 plus 3 5 5 is what kind of number odd number so you can note this point the third point which is useful for the question that is any even number plus odd number will give you the result as odd so let's apply this rule to the statement number 2 to get the answer quickly so given is statement number 2 2 p plus c can be odd so 2 p means just now we have seen one even number plus another odd number will give you that odd okay so p is a prime number so you can pick any prime number because into 2 you will get definitely even number so i have taken here p is 2 so 2 into p 2 into 2 i have taken plus c i need the condition if you take suppose odd number for c no need so many trials directly you can choose one of the odd number yes i got here 9 is one of the composite odd number so i can take 9 for c so c is 9 p is 2 directly you can choose from the range if you know the rule the next thing 2 into 2 4 4 plus 9 obviously you will be getting number 13 this 13 is what kind of number odd number so option so statement 2 obviously correct otherwise no need this calculation at all no need this calculation without this calculation also you can answer if you know the concept because even plus odd is odd any number into 2 which will give you even number any composite number is odd or not yes we are having various odd numbers in the composite number category so one odd number you can pick so definitely you will get answer so these kinds of calculation is also not required right so if you want you can do this otherwise you can leave it if you are very strong in this concept you can directly answer statement 2 is going to be 100% correct because it is one of a possibility right let's move into the statement number 3 statement number 3 stating p into c can be odd so it is one of a possibility they are talking about so p into c means what is the multiplication facts about even and odd numbers let's see so in this multiplication we can take even number into even number the result we get is even odd number into odd number the result we will be getting it's odd and one of the odd number and another even number will give you the result is even for this i can give you the example 2 into 2 the result is 4 3 into 3 
the result is 9 which is odd number and 1 i can take for odd even i can take 4 1 into 4 4 so these are the proofs here the requirement is just talking about odd number okay the result p into c which is odd means p must be prime number must be the odd number as well as the composite number must also be the odd number so that you will get the result of the odd let's use this concept in the question so according to the statement 3 p and c can be odd just now we have seen p is the odd number and c is also must be the odd number so that p into c will give you odd according to the facts so look at any odd value for p s i can choose this look at any odd value for c here you can choose 9 so 3 into 9 that is p into c it must be odd any any one of the case it should be odd so 3 into 9 27 so the answer we can take p c can be odd yes it is one of the possibility obviously so here i can choose option d is obviously correct next segment answer for the previous question n is a three digit number such that ratio of that number to the sum of its digit is greatest talking about the three digit number n the sum of its digit x plus y plus z the ratio between these two digits must be the greatest so how to get the greatest value only it is possible if you make the first digit greater and the denominator part a smaller one okay so the digits for the denominator is taken from the digits from the numerator so you want to keep these things in mind totally there are units tens hundreds place this value must be the greatest one and these two values must be the smallest or smaller items these two must be the smaller values this one must be the greatest so that you will obtain the greatest value as the result so what are the possibilities let's check so let me take this value for x y z whether it is worth yes because just now i told you this hundreds place must be of highest value and the balance remaining place must be of the lowest value what is the smallest single digit number zero what is the largest single digit number nine so i have substituted nine over here so 900 divided by nine plus zero plus zero so what is the value i got which is going to be 900 by nine the result is 100 so look at the option so option is not only having 9 there are several options even with 9 there are 6 and 8 present what is the logic behind here if you wonder you can check the option based calculation so not only with 900 if you substitute the difference is 1 it is given right so 1 double 0 divided by 1 plus 0 plus 0 you will get 100 by 1 answer 100 similar way if 200 divided by 2 you will get 100 as the result suppose for 300 divided by 3 you will get 100 as the result this 100 is the greatest value of the ratio between the numerators and denominators in different cases in the previous upc cz question only one value we got with the least but here several cases are dealing with the maximum result so the point is only the result must be the greatest so what is the possible values of the hundreds place and ones place so hundreds place means we can take one two nine there are nine possible values for ones place there is only one option it must be zero to get the maximum value as the result so 1 to 9 means how many possibilities are there 
So not only 100, 200, 300, if 400 is divided by 4, you will get 100. Up to 900 divided by 9, we will get 100. So the idea of here is this. In 100, what is the difference between units and hundreds place? One, one is the difference. In 200, the difference between units and hundreds place? Two. In 300, it is 3. So, 1 or 2 or 3, option A is also correct. It's one of the possible things. Suppose if you take 400, this will give you the maximum result of 100 by dividing by 4. So, 4 minus 0, 4. For 500, you will get 5. For 600, you will get answer 6. For 700, the answer is 7. For 800, the answer is 8. For 900, it is going to be 9. So, 1000, if you take, it will not match with the question because the question is asking you about the three digit number itself. So, the answer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All are going to be correct. So, all of the above is the correct answer. So, congratulations for those who gave correct answer for this previous video's question. Question for today. Consider the following statements in respect of two natural numbers P and Q such that P is a prime number and Q is a composite number. Statement 1. P into Q can be an odd number. Statement 2. Q by P can be a prime number. Statement 3. P plus Q can be a prime number. Which of the above statements are correct? You can choose. Four options are given. Option A, B, C, D are given to you. As usual, you can post your answers in the comment section. Thanks for watching.